Hi guys, it's me Morgan. I'm here with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, background's a little different today. I have some house guests staying with me, so it's a little loud in there where I usually do my hauls. Um, but I have some stuff here. I'm super excited about some of it. I went to a different location, um, and I found some of my longest wish list items, I guess you should say. So, with that being said, we're just going to hop on in, and we're going to start with... home decor stuff like that so first of all I found these two flags this is in the garden collection and this one says our farmhouse looks like that and it is um, I bought this for a gift, so I'm not going to open it. But I bought this one for me, so I'll open it. And this one, that's what it looks like. So let's see. Ooh, pretty. Look at the gingham. And then you have the lemon. That's really pretty. I'm sorry the lighting's not the perfect in here. It's kind of dim and it's dark outside. So, but anyway, so there's that. Next, I found some new signs. They had four different options, but I only picked up two. This one says, Bless this nest. It has these really pretty flowers and it's a wood frame and it does have the hook to hook it on if you want to. Um, but I like that it has like the, the faux ship light on it and you can probably stand it up as well. So there's that one. And then this one says, thank you. And it just has, um, the little ladybug right there. But the other one said they had one that had, um, home and it had pretty much the same ship light with some flowers. And then they had one that was blue and said, this is us. But I just picked up these two. I thought they'd be really cute over my fireplace. And then I found this gold metal welcome sign. It's just round. Uh, eight inch. That's how big this is. It's eight by eight. It does have a little hook on the back, so you can hook it. I'm actually going to plan on making a wreath and putting this in the center. I thought that would be really pretty, but I was super excited, and it just, it's so, so different, I guess. Those are the words I'm trying to say, but I don't know. Anyway, and I just picked up one of, like, this faux wood charger plate. Uh, it says, not safe for food, do not put in microwave, do not put in dishwasher. The whole point of these is you're supposed to put your plate on top of it. Um, that's not what I'm going to use this for. I'm going to make this into a door wall hanger. I'm going to put some something farmhouse chic on here. So I just picked up one just to play around with to see if I like it or not. And then I picked up this. And they had a couple different options. And they're just calling this decor. But it says... Faith, everything is possible for those who believe. And it just has this really pretty blue and... It's pretty thick and sturdy. And they had a couple different options. But I really enjoyed this one. It kind of matches the theme I have in my living room with the blue. So I just grabbed one. I picked up this candle. I have never seen this candle there before. But look at this jar. 
It is called Lemon Tart. And it smells just like Lemon Tart. And it is a three ounce jar. Let me see if I can get that to focus. There you go. So, and I love lemon scents in my kitchen. Like, I'm a big fan of it. So, super excited about this. And they had a couple different options, but this is the only one I picked up. Um, because I kind of have a lot of candles. And I'm sorry I look like a hot mess. It's late, actually. It's like, it's 11 o'clock. So. And then I picked up this. It is a Space Saver Hanger. It is a product made in USA, and it is by Merrick. So, this is not a Greenbrier uh, product. It says, Ultra Slim to maximize closet space, works with various kinds of hangers, can be hung horizontally or vertically. And this is what it looks like. So, I thought that this would be really neat to put my leggings on because I, I kind of have a legging obsession. Obsession. <laughs> so, um, but this will save a lot of space if I put, put them on there because I usually hang them two to a hanger anyway. So, I just picked up one to see if I liked it. They had a lot. So, if I like it, I'll probably go back tomorrow and get more. I don't know. But, Put your hangers there. So, we'll see. Okay. One bag down. Alright, next, we'll go into toys, because it's just next. I picked up two of these Disney Frozen 2 molds. One is Elsa. And one is Anna. This is a crazy art product. And it says you get two dough colors and one character mold. So, there's a better picture, I think. There's this one. I just think Kenzie would really enjoy this. And, um, speaking of which... So, I'm recording this on Saturday, February 13th. I'm not sure when I'll post this video yet, but this coming Tuesday, my friend is being induced. So, those three kids I love so much are staying a couple nights with me. So, I've got to keep them entertained, especially because they're calling for like 10 inches of snow. <laughs> so, it's going to come in handy. I'm kind of glad I bought those. And then I picked up these Crayola Silly Scents um, dough. Scented Play-Doh, essentially. But this one is banana. And this one is apple. And that's what it looks like. And this is Crayola. This is name brand. It is ages 2 and up. So, I'm actually going to put these in their, her uh, Kenzie's gift bag. And then I found this, and this, they're getting this stuff out for Easter, I'm assuming, because it was up with all the Easter stuff. But anyway, it is by Craft City, and it is ages 8 and up, and it is Karina's Pre-Made Mythical Slime. So, oops, what it is is it's just different slimes. You see the lighting in here is awful. I'm sorry, guys. Purple, blue, pink, and like a really pale color. So, for a dollar, you get four different slimes. So, let's go in Abby's gift bag. Another bag down. Okay. What's in this bag? Cleaning supplies. I found Scrub It Microfiber Cleaning Towel. Scrub It is a name brand. 
and you get two, oops, a two pack. And they're just little micro rags. I figured they'd be good for cleaning. And then I picked up this Fabuloso Antibacterial Multi Purpose Cleaner in Sparkling Citrus. There we go. And this is a 16.9 fluid ounce bottle. I'm intrigued with the smell. Ooh, that's really, really citrusy. It's gonna smell very clean. All right. And next, I picked up this Stronger Than Dirt Ajax Multi Purpose Cleaner. It is also a 16, 16.9 fluid ounce bottle. Fresh bathroom. It just smells clean. It just smells like cleaning supplies. So, let me rearrange. Next is probably one of my favorite finds. This is stuff I found in the beauty. So the store I went to is out by my parents' house in Taylorsville, Kentucky. And they was like a, it was like a hidden gem because it's a small little town, but they had a good Dollar Tree. But anyway. I picked up one of these bath sponges from April Bath and Shower Kids, but it's a little unicorn. It's just a little sponge, but it's got, look at the little horn. <clears throat> and they had a couple different options, but I thought Kenzie would like this. And maybe it'll help her take a bath and not worry about her mommy so much. And then I picked up two of the new... Ioni. That's how I say it. I do not know if that is right, but that's how I say it. Lashes. Picked up this one. In Natural Light Doll. You see it? Focus. Here we go. And this is what they look like. They're not as big as some of them, and I, I liked them. And then this one is Natural Light Wispy. This is what they look like. If you haven't used Ioni before, um, they make some pretty good Gluon lashes. I enjoy them. I have three or four pair, actually. So, But I liked how small these were. They're not really long, which I really like. And then... I found this shadow switching sponge, which I've seen tons of people haul before, but my stores have never had them, and this store did. It is a Sassy and Chic product. I'm so excited. It says, sponge cleaning tool that easily removes color from eyeshadow brushes so they can be used to apply a new color. Which is good, because I don't have that many brushes, but I like to change my eyeshadow color from time to time, so... I suggest picking that up. I found this Spa Life face mask, but it is a me and you mask. It's for couples. What? So, the, I'm going to assume the guy is antioxidant blueberry facial mask it is sulfate free and then the girl is nourishing strawberry facial mask paraben free so you get two masks i thought it would be kind of fun you just unfold the mask put it on for 15 to 20 minutes remove mask and rub in the excess serum so, 
I just picked up one because I don't even know if my husband will do it with me, but I'm hoping he will because I think it'd be kind of fun. Next, I picked up two of these big Soleil, Soleil, Soleil sounds right, sensitive three blade comfort shield razors. I try to pick these up because I do have quite a bit of teenage girls running in and out of my house, my daughter's friends. So it helps to have these on hand because they never remember razors and they always tend to want to shave their legs. This way they aren't sharing. But you just get one and it is big. I picked up a pack of Placker's Gentle Slides Dental Flossers. You get 35. But these have the, the wax in between. Instead of having the stringy stuff. Um, I, I like these a lot better than the other ones I use. And then it does have, I'll show you. It does have the pick on the bottom. So, nothing too exciting there. Then I found these two packs. And this one is a Freeman. And it is Detoxifying Charcoal and Black Sugar Mud Mask. It's a 10 minute mask. And then the other one is Hydrating Glacial Water and Pink Peony Gel Cream Mask. Now they're in this cute little pink bag. They are both 1.5 fluid ounces. Freeman is a name brand. So you get two for a dollar. And then this one. It is Freeman as well, but guys, it is men's. But I can't read what it is through the bag. But look at the bag. Isn't that pretty? I guess I shouldn't say pretty. Pretty since it's a guy thing, but whatever. Okay, so one is a pore cleansing volcanic ash peel off gel mask. The other one is a oil absorbing marine algae clay mask. This is what they look like. How cool are those? I just thought that was neat. You know, they'd be good in a gift basket if you're going to do like a couple spa basket or something. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I just thought they'd be cool. Now I can't get them back in the bag, so I'll do that later. Next, I picked up a Sassy and Chic Eyebrow Razor 3-piece. These are really good for getting the hairs right down here that drive you insane. So... You just get three. They they work fantastic. I picked up this Axe, name brand, Clean and Fresh Face and Body Bar Soap. It's a small bar, but I bought it for my son to see if maybe he would try to use it. If not, I wasted a dollar. No big deal. But it smells so good. Like you can smell it through the box. It smells good. My leg was going down. I'm sorry. Okay. Next, I found this Spa Naturals Luxury Collection. Epsom Salt Activ Activated Charcoal Purifying Bath Soap. It's just a bag of Epsom Salt. Um, I have a Epsom Salt container I made. Um, I'm going to put these in them. Nothing fancy. I just thought my daughter likes using Epsom Salt after her basketball games. When she's had a rough game, she gets in the Epsom Salt bath and just soaks. Um, if I've had a really long, hard day at work, Epsom salt. Love it. I picked up another men's two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, but this time I picked it up in cedarwood and eucalyptus. I picked up the blue one. I don't remember what its scent was now for my son a while back, and I figured I might as well pick this one up too. See how he likes them. Oops. Got it on me trying to poke it. It smells good. So, manly. 
a very manly scent. These next couple items were wish list items. I'm super excited I found them. These two products are by Global Beauty Care. This one is the Pink Sugar Lip Scrub. I'm super excited. I've been looking for this. Um, I haven't found the lip scrubber brush yet, but I found this. So, super excited about it. Look at that. It is a 1.7 ounce. And then this one is a sleeping mask plus hyaluronic acid. It is a 1.7. This was also a wish list item. Like I said, guys, I was so excited. These were both gems I found in that one store that I haven't been to before. My local store has not carried these. Then, this was also, I didn't know this was a thing out there right now. So I was super excited and I bought four. But it is a hard candy 12 hour mattifying setting spray oil control mm, sheer envy setting spray but this is a full size bottle guys 2.2 ounces it is hard candy I've been using the LA colors but it's like a teeny tiny little like perfume looking tube look how big these are hard candy is a great brand you can't go wrong with it anytime I see hard candy products at Dollar Tree I pick them up Super excited about this. So I did stock up on them. I might give some. I don't know. I picked up a Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. Also named brand. This is a nude beige. which is light, medium, and warm. Um, I picked this up before. I like to use it for days when I go to work. It's just a little small coverage for me. I don't wear a whole lot of makeup at work because I... So car parts for a living. No one cares what I look like. Except me. So. But it's just got the sponge. And then. And here you've got your makeup. And you just. So. There's that. Alright. <clears throat> Next up. I have. Some random items and one of the items doesn't even go in this category but i'm going to put it there because that's where i found it out on one of the key strips so i'll get to that in a minute i picked up this small craft caddy they carry these quite often no big deal but i purchased this to help my glue sticks and stuff in my craft car and then i found this spirit animal express it pen um in a sloth that a unicorn and something else. But look how cute that sloth is, guys. But the pen says... It has different sayings on it. Like when you click it. But this one right here says, Sloths are my spirit animal. My friend, I bought this to go in her Valentine's Day bag, which is tomorrow. But y'all will already... This won't be loaded tomorrow. So it'll be one day after. But it's going in her Valentine's Day bag. Because she loves sloths. Everything in it's sloth. So she's going to love it. And then this one is the item I said that doesn't really belong in this category, but I found it on one of the plastic strips in there. And they're the key covers in the watermelon. They had this one, a unicorn, and a rainbow. But my daughter said the watermelon's cute because my house keys, my front door and my back door keys look exactly the same, but they will not work on the same doors. Like, you can't use the back door for the front door for the back door, blah, blah, blah. Can't do it. So I'm constantly finding my keys. So I'm just going to put this on my house key. They're just little rubber key covers. <clears throat> this was also a wish list item. I have been looking for these for what feels like months. They're the little animal print books. This one is crossword puzzles. It's got the little band. Oops. This crossword. This one is like a snake skin looking thing and it says it's a word search. It's a word search, nothing fancy. 
<clears throat> and this leopard print is Sudoku Puzzles. Nice large print on that one. But I love these. I've been looking for these. They've, they've been on my wish list for a long time now. So I'm super excited about these. And these keep your mind active. They keep your brain active, which keep, helps with your memory. So. Next, I have one item in apparel. And they are men's fashion socks. Fit shoe sizes 6 to 12. But I bought them for me because look. Look at the trucks, guys. You got a red truck, green truck, gray truck. They get this really pretty green heel and toe and top. But they're so cute. Look at them. I seen these and I instantly put them in my cart. And my husband was like, really? And I was like, yeah, really. I need them. So there's those. Alright. Last couple items in this haul. I have some more, but I'm going to save it. So, But is in the tool bench stuff. I picked up foam mounting tape pre-cut. This is by the original super glue double-sided acid-free tape. I like to use these for holding pieces together or sometimes I hang things up with them. And then I picked up this 100 piece nail set. Nothing super fancy there. But I bought it because my store finally had these little toolboxes back. By the time I decided I wanted to start, I wanted one, they hadn't had them. But they finally brought them back. And I'm going to put like my little hammer and stuff in here because sometimes I need my tools. And they're in my closet. And my husband works third shift. So when I usually need them, he's in here sleeping. And I don't want to go in the closet and rummage through this stuff and wake him up. So, I'm super excited. So, that is it for this haul, guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If you like these kind of videos, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um... And hit that bell if you want to be notified when I post. And I really love all the inter interaction, all the positivity. Keep it up. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. If you like all this kind of stuff, go follow me on Instagram. It is Cozy with Morgan and the number two. Um, I post there almost daily. Uh, just little cool things I find at Dollar Tree or the crafts I make with them, um, the DIYs I make with stuff I find at Dollar Tree. So, like I said, just go hit me up on that with Cozy with Morgan, too. And that's it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.